Hey everybody, we are teaching Tilt Brush, and this time we're going to talk about using Sketchfab to exchange sketches and tilt brushes and models over the internet, just like we used to do with Polly. Now Sketchfab, I'm going to do a couple of important things first just to allay any fears you might have, and then we'll go into the details of how it works and how you use it. Now first, it is a separate company than Google's Tilt Brush, so you will need to sign up with an email address and a password. It is not necessarily the same as your Tilt Brush account. It is a separate account. Second, the account is free and you can upload as much as you like provided you make it public. So as long as you're using Sketchfab as a public exchange library, you are unlimited in how much you put up there. They just don't want to be your private storage facility. That's where the one limit comes in, is where if you're putting it up there but not making it public. Third and final, yes, the actual tilt brush tilt sketch is part of the upload, even though Sketchpad is most known for 3D models themselves. And you can download the Tilt Sketch as a 3D model. It also does indeed preserve the .tilt file that you can put into Tilt Brush and have the original brush strokes there in their original materials. So now that that's out of the way, and hopefully you're a little less worried than you were before, we're going to go through the basic steps of actually putting stuff up there and getting it back and using it in Tilt Brush. Setting up the account. The actual website is indeed sketchfab.com. Very straightforward. It works just like every other website you might already use. If you haven't used websites, then I'm, this is not what this episode is about. Sketchfab.com is all about storing 3D models and allowing people to download them. You can put price tags on them, but you don't have to. You can keep them free. Public uploads are unlimited, so if you make many sketches a day, you can indeed upload them every day as you go. No harm, no foul. Now, once you've signed in with your username and password and done the ver uh, verification rigmarole and all of that type of thing, it's actually going to show up in Tilt Brush. So on my controller, we've got that button to upload, the little cloud button here, to upload your file. So when I click on the upload, this screen, I can get my hand out of the way here, this screen has two pieces. One side is for Polly, which will be going away in April 2021. The other side is going to be for Sketchfab. And it might even say Sketchfab Beta, depending on when you watch this video. Now, when you click the Sketchfab, it will have you log in. You may have to take off your headset, log into the computer. But ideally, you'll just enter your username and password, and it will allow you to upload just like before. So if you have a beautiful picture that you want to put on Sketchfab, load in the picture and click that button. And it will show the usual upload progress bar. And when it finishes, it will ask you to go to your uh, web browser where you can finish filling in any extra description and that kind of thing. So the upload is very similar to Polly itself if you've done that before. If you've never done that before, it's just a matter of click the button and wait for the little bar to go across. Please don't change your tilt while it's uploading. Once it's uploaded, you can, uh, you do need to save it. Uh, once it's uploaded, you can search Sketchfab, just like any other website, to find the models, find it by name, find it by user, that type of thing. Now, Sketchfab itself will convert your sketch into more common file formats. So somebody using Unity or Blender can now download your sketch and use it. Many of the textures, even the animated textures, will often come through. It adds the Tilt Brush shaders to the uploaded and downloaded files, so you don't actually have to do that yourself. While you can directly export models from Tilt Brush, Sketchfab will do the conversion for you. Now, once it's up in Sketch, uh, Sketchfab and you go to find it, or you go to find somebody else's, it's going to show up pretty much like any other website you would expect. Here is my Deep Forest sketch 
uploaded. Now you'll notice some slight differences here. In the sketch in here, the sunlight. You can see in my picture, I've got this sunlight filtering in. That's the smoke brush. The smoke brush is here. It just doesn't look quite the same because it's going to adapt depending on which program you're using. This view on the website is also fully interactive. You can rotate it, zoom it, look around as a 3D model. Now, in addition to saying who, it, who made it and where it came from, that type of thing, if you then scroll down, it's going to have information about the sketch itself, including who made it, that type of thing. Now, older sketches that got uploaded will be already converted into the 3D model formats. Newer sketches used using this button, it's actually going to add, I'm going to expand this so you can see, it's actually going to add right here, let's use a dark brush instead of a pale brush. That's brilliant, isn't it? Uh, let's get to my brushes, here we go. This part right here, uploaded with tilt brush. As long as it says that, it will be fully compatible with tilt brush and include all of the sketch information, including the original brush information. If it was not uploaded from tilt brush, it may not have all of that files. If you had exported as an FBX and uploaded that, you've lost the original brush information. But if you upload it straight from Tilt Brush, it will include the original Tilt file. So let's get this out of the way. Let's get those out of the way as well. So we've got it uploaded, and it's been uploaded via Tilt Brush. When you click on the button to download that model, here's where it's going to ask you what format do you want to use. Let's. Look at this. So here is my deep forest model. And we've got these three types. Original format, converted format, or AR format. This one, the original format, that is the only one that contains the tilt file. If you download either of the other two, they will not have the brush strokes. They'll only have a 3D model. If you're doing Unity, if you're doing uh, Blender, that's okay. But if you want to bring it back into Tilt Brush as a sketch, you must make sure it's the original flavor. That's the one that has it. I'm going to leave that one up here and recircle original format. That's the important step. It's going to come down to your computer as a zip file. We're assuming you're doing this from the PC, whether it's a Quest via Link or a standard uh, PC uh, VR. We'll do a separate note uh, in the comments below about uh, PlayStation people. They will need may need to do it as a side link. In any case, once you download that zip file, the original flavor, it's going to start with two folders, source and textures. I don't know if you can read that clearly. Let's make a giant source and textures. Source. That's the one we're going for, not textures. Source is the one that's going to contain what we want. When you open source, it's actually going to have another zip file. This one's called archive. Mostly because Sketchfab isn't expecting most people to need the original source. They want the converted formats. As Tilt Brush users, we want that archive, that original version. So I'm going to make that a little smaller. Whoops, make you a little smaller. Archive. The archive will contain more than just your sketch. The archive will contain all of the 3D model software as well. But if you look down here, it contains the original sketch itself. Copy that file, paste it into your Tilt Brush folder where all of your other sketches are. I would strongly recommend rename it because it will actually show up in the sketchbook called Sketch. And since you can't have more than one with the same name, yada yada, I would rename it Forest or whatever your sketch is all about. So when it gets dropped into your sketches folder, that file 
is the original tilt brush. So yes, Sketchfab is free. Sketchfab will let you exchange the original files in Tilt Brush. So you've got all the brush strokes, all the original shaders, that type of thing. You can just dive right in for remixing popular stuff. So even though Poly is going to be no longer available, or may already be no longer available, Sketchfab, as a free service, will still let you freely exchange original Tilt Brush Tilt files. That's how you do it. You sign up, then you upload through your standard upload button, upload to Sketchfab. Downloading it, it's a matter of downloading the original file. Get that out of the way so you can see the original file. That's the one that contains the original tilt file that you can use. Put it in sketches, load it in, you're good to go. Does this make sense? If it doesn't, let me know in the comments so we can work out whatever issues you're having or if it's not working right for you or you can't find the right folder or you're using a quest and you're not sure how to sideload, let us know in the comments. We'll get answers to you one way or another. We've got a few other videos connected to show you how to do those side loads and things. But this one is about using Sketchfab as a public resource to get your tilt files back out into the rest of the world and have everybody else have as much fun as you are with all these sketches. That's all for today. I hope it was helpful. I'm going to switch back to my light brush so you can see my usual message because I always end it this way. Thanks for joining us. Let us know if there are questions. Come back every week and see what we got. We will actually do episodes based on what you want to know. So go ahead and ask whatever you need. We'll get those out of the way so you can see our usual message, but we'll keep the original flavor. That's the important thing. Thanks, guys. Have a lot of fun with Tilt Brush. We'll see you next time.